Right guys, I'm going to teach you how to play N64 games on uh, your PC. It could be Linux, Mac, Windows, it doesn't matter. Um, but I'm going to teach you how to play it, um, N64 games. So we're going to be using a program here called uh, Simple64. And like you can open a ROM. I'll also show you how to get ROMs. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to take a screenshot. But, um, to start, you want to install it. And on their GitHub, so I went to their GitHub, and there will be instructions here. Um, there are instructions here for downloading it to Windows and yeah and you can install it on Linux through Flathub if you want what I did is since I'm on Arch well actually I'm on Manjaro I just did sudo pa pamac install simple 64 and once you have it installed what you can do is download some ROMs and I will I, I will try and make a github repository with a bunch of ROMs in them that you can install but um what you would do is just go to like your search bar and search for like uh, conquers bad fur day um, N64 ROM, something like that, and you'll often see these two, um, these two websites seem to pop up a lot. You can download it from there. I see one here. If you see one on archive.org, that's probably what you're going to want to get, but WoW ROMs and console ROMs I also think are great ways to get ROMs but yeah and you just download it and you'll probably get a zip folder uh, a zip file what you'll want to do is extract that uh, in the end you should have a .n64 or .z64 file and then what you can do is run simple64 and what I would recommend doing is uh, if you have so I have a knockoff N64 controller um, so what I did so I went up to controller configuration and I went to manual profiles and I just clicked new profile gamepad and I mapped my controller um, and then I just saved it saved it as something so I have my N64 controller profile here and then I just put it in controller 1 um, and I select which one it is uh, yeah so you also will probably want to go up to settings and corn video settings and you'll want to go to parallel video um, and what you'll want to do is probably tick on full screen. You can also toggle full screen with alt enter, but, um, here's one parameter you'll want to change and that is upscaling. By default, the games will be extremely pixelated. So you'll want to, uh, the max is eight. So, uh, you can see here. Um, if you set it to 1, that's no upscaling, because it's 1x. Uh, so I'm upscaling it 8 times its original. So 1 is no upscaling, 2 is double upscaled, 4 is 4 times upscaled, 8 is 8 times upscaled. And you'll probably want to turn on V-Sync. I, I don't really know what this affects, but um, I just set this to 1920 by 1080. I'll, I'll see what that does, I guess. 
Yeah, I don't understand what a lot of this does. But, um, it'd be interesting to see. And there might be some stuff here you want to change. Maybe not. Just look through. There's net play. You can create rooms and join rooms that way. Um, emulation, you can change the emulation volume, mute, unmute, pause, resume game, stop emulation, hard reset, soft reset, toggle speed limiter, view log. So, what I did is I have a, oops, I have a directory, um, in here somewhere that is dedicated to ROMs. So I just, yeah, dot N64 ROMs. So I just dragged all my ROMs in here. I've got a lot. Um, so I just dragged all my ROMs in here. And these are the ROMs that I'd put in my GitHub repo, if I can make it, if GitHub will allow me. Because I've had trouble with GitHub and uh, large sets of files. But, um, yeah. So... I, I just put it in my home directory because I'm on Linux. And then what I did is I said open ROM. And then I searched through. And this is in alphabetical order in my portal thingy to find it. I don't know. You probably also have a search function. I don't to my knowledge. But I just searched... Um. And there's an easier way to do this once you open the ROM. So what you can do is search for your ROM. And excuse me while I try and find it. Ah, yep. Conquer's bad for a day. Open. And uh, it will open. And I can stop the emulation with escape. Now, what I can do, since I've opened it, go up to File, and instead of clicking Open ROM, you can save yourself time and just click Open Recent. And if you do that, then you can just click that, and it will open the ROM back up. Now, um, now I'm going to show you a useful feature, and that is Save State and Load State with F5 and F7. So if I open Conquer's Bad Fur Day, I actually have a state saved. So what you do is press F5 to save the state, basically saving what the machine has done at that time. And then I can press F7, and I'm in the middle of a game here. And you can see it has repopulated where I was. Uh, so yeah. And it's just a useful feature, because one problem I've had, so I have to save my state often, because a problem I've had is, for some reason, Simple64 freezes up on me, and I don't know why that happens, but it doesn't really bother me when I save my state a lot. Also, saving your state is really quickly, because then you can skip um, all the intros and stuff. It's just a useful feature. So, uh, that's about it. Um, bye. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, tick the bell, all that good stuff. Follow me on Odyssey. Uh, just search up Oglo the Nerd or Oglo MC on Odyssey and you'll find me. Uh, cheers.